the energy vibration um, reading for the Sagittarian Sun Moon Horizon sign I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back um, this is um, a wonderful wonderful um, month uh, for you Sagittarians um, this month is a fire month and you're also a fire person and it is the month of the Wheel of Fortune but it is also um, an helping of the chariot so a lot of cha um, changes a lot of transaction a lot of movement is going to be uh, taking place so this is going to be good so whatever situation that is working um, it's going to be working out in your favor for the Sagittarians okay so not to worry about it the zodiac energy is going to be here in the two for the first week and the two last week it's going to be water I want to say thank you to each and every person for being here thank you for coming back thank you for supporting my channel please remember to listen to the general energies but also the energy of the Sun moon and rising sign okay um, this month we have four weeks the first week um, is the energy of the tower and the second week is the energy of um, the star third week is the energy of the moon and the fourth week is the energy of the Sun so it's a wonderful month for you Sagittarius so let's look and see what is going to transpire for you Sagittarius you have the energy of the ten of Pentacles so this is wonderful um, the energy of the ten of Pentacles comes up and this is a positive energy on that the first week there is the energy of the tower and that is helping you to release and move away the blockage that was blocking your financial situation so finally 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 there is an end to this transformation of the blockage that was happening to your financial situation and now your financial situation is going to be in balance whatever the situation was of it you are seeing and you are going to see in the first week as a difference a trans transformation of your materialist world and your money money is going to be coming to you and this is wonderful because it's as if some of you Sagittarians the money was being blocked your financial flow was being blocked and now it is beginning to heal again okay so this is wonderful as we move forward we're going to look and see for the Sagittarians so we you know that I always call upon the angels of the Sagittarians to come in and um, let's see what is happening in the second week for you guys in the second week you there is the energy of the star which is wonderful and the energy of the star is um, helping you to leave whatever that has transpired behind you and move forward it is helping you to make that transition to forgive those who have done you wrong to forgive those who have judged you injustly and let yourself accept um, the true love and light of what ever is transpiring and there is a sense of you being the star you um, achieving certain things in your life you have twice the star that is coming up in this month for you Sagittarius in the energy of the month for you and also the energy of the second week so we use this energy to open up um, positive ways for you forward in your life and this is going to be very 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 good as we go forward and we're looking um, we are trying to see what is going to happen in the third week for the Sagittarians and you have the energy of the moon so you have a double 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 whammy oh my god this is so wonderful you are the first person to receive a double double whammy I call it a double double whammy because um, it is also the week of the moon and you receive the energy of the moon so this is wonderful it's perfect so the third week of February is going to be so positive for you Sagittarians because your psychic energies are going to be up it's going to be 
you're gonna be beeping it's as if the telephone ring and you know exactly who is on the telephone it's as if you're having conversation and you know exactly what the um, the other person is going to say in this conversation it's as if things are just so so vibrating and moving forward it is as if you know exactly what to do where to go and and what to and what to how to answer certain people so congratulations again you have the energy of the double 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 whammy this is so wonderful this is so positive this is really 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 a good positive positive week the third week is just going to be so fantastic for you Sagittarius so let's look and see what is happening in the four weeks for you guys in the energy of the four weeks you have the energy of the Sun of Pentacles the energy of the Sun of Pentacles um, this energy of the Sun of Pentacles is someone who is a um, someone who is a um, a, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and um, this person is between the ages of 18 and 40 this person is between the ages of 18 and 40 and it is a Taurus Virgo or a Sagittarius okay so let's look and see what is happening the most wonderful thing um, that happened is that whilst I was doing the third week there was an energy that came out also and it is the energy of strength okay the energy of strength which this is your energy vibration so this is wonderful because it came out along with the, the energy of the third week and what this is saying to you is that the symbol of infinity abundance is here whatever you have been going through and whatever that is going to come in the future you are spiritually protected in this and what is going to transpire is that you will find the inner strength and guidance against this person whoever this person is um, and it is going to be fine okay it is going to be fine because the, this is your so you have the energy of the star and you have the energy of strength which is your own energy vibration which is coming out so okay let's look and see what is transpiring between the ten of Pentacles and the three of Wands in the first and second week what is there transpiring the two of Pentacles so here you are you are balancing out your emotional but also your materialistic self and this is good with the energy of the two of Pentacles because what has transpired is that there has there was a situation that was happening around you and what has transpired is that finally it's as if the energy um, it's as if the energy of uh, um, um, the, the, the the ten of Pentacles the energy of the ten of Pentacles came up and what uh, what 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 happened with the energy of the ten of Pentacles is that um, it's as if there was a situation that was going on if you had a lawsuit or so the first week the money is going to be um, given to you okay and um, when the money is um, really uh, finally it is paid out and that sort of a thing mastery of in promotion um, you know the money is paid out and what has happened is that you are now um, moving forward okay because the three of one is uh, envisioning a newer future so it's as if some of you had a lawsuit or some of you have a, um, um, a situation where um, there was a conflict and a payment will be made and that is going to come in the first week and in the second week what is going to happen happen is that you are going to be envisioning a new future and this future is going to be wonderful because um, the three of ones is always indicating that you have continued support continuously support from others and um, this is going to be moving you to a perfect place okay and this is why the energy of uh, the two of Pentacles comes up because what you're doing at this moment is balancing and 
with this balance change is going to come in your life and this is going to be perfect okay this is really really going to be perfect as we look forward and we look at the energies that are happening between um, the second week and the third week we have the energy of the nine of wands the energy of this nine of wands keep on coming up a lot um, the energy of the nine of wands keep on really 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 coming up a lot and um, what is happening whenever the energy of the nine of one comes up it is saying that you or um, you are protected and with the inner strength it is a form of strength it's a form of inner strength and you're protected in this situation it is a form of inner strength and you are protected in this situation so um, what is going to happen and what is going to transpire is that you are going to see and realize the situation um, that has happened is that you're looking forward to make a new beginning in your life and you are moving and going to start to work from out of your intuition because you're realizing that just by listening to your intuition what is happening is that um, you are receiving positive energies and the nine of ones is always your spirit guides giving you inner strength and support to move forward and this is going to be really um, transpiring for you so this is going to be good okay whatever the situation is whatever that is playing out for you it's going to be a positive positive one let's look at um, the energy between the third week and the fourth week to see what is the connection that is going on here and you have the seven of Pentacles I'm not sure the seven of Pentacles is always working hard is always working um, towards something and and this is wonderful because what is happening is that the energy of the seven of Pentacles just constantly constantly coming up in this week for a lot of people you are the only one who has so far gotten the energy of uh, and this month you're the, the only one that so far has the energy of the ten of Pentacles the seven of Pentacles is always a transition this energy of the seven of Pentacles what is happening is that there is a situation that is going to come up and this can be for people who have kids who are Taurus Virgo and Capricorn and it can affect a family relationship that there is because this happens um, to another sign where their parents and the parents as if the parents was protecting the kid and whatever the situation was um, the seven of Pentacles came up and what this uh, is is a period of uh, completion um, the seven of Pentacles is a period of um, contemplation okay completion contemplation um, the, the, the seven is a period of contemplating and um, uncertainties you're looking back at all of your hard work and wondering if it has a failure or a success okay it is always as if you know when you start something new when you're about to do something you're looking back and you wonder if it is a failure or a success but um, what is going to happen and what is going to transpire is that um, it, you need time just give it time whatever the situation is and whoever this person was let's say that you have a child that you have invested in a lot in because this is what is uh, now you're thinking um, I've invested so much in this person was it worth it was it really worth it was this um, really what um, should have happened is this what um, uh, you know is this where I should have uh, give all of this um, energy and support to so let's move forward and see what is going on the mother of cups comes up so a change of transition is going to happen for you a change of transition a change of uh, um, your materialistic um, gains and that sort of a thing a change of transition is coming up this change of transition is going to be coming up and the mother of cups which is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion um, someone over the age of uh, 
uh, 40 45 someone over the age of 40 45 is going to come in and they are going to help you to bring a new uh, start and a new beginning in your life because what is happening is that you have uh, the energy of the three of ones which is uh, you're looking um, to move forward and to, to um, begin and start something new in your life and this is what is happening for you that this woman whoever this person is it could be someone who's older than you or, or it could be your mother coming in and she is going to help you to move you forward in a positive positive way in a you know in a good good way and this is going to be very positive so um whatever the transition is that is taking place you are build you're building because what has transpired is that whatever has transpired in the past you have now the financial gain and stability and this uh, bring changes and this changes the uh, energy of the mother of cups is going to come in and, and this is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and this is going to be um, extremely positive because this person in the future is going to help you along and this is good because you're thinking and you're trying to plan a new future changes are coming in and through the time of the changes you're going to be supported and you're going to find the inner strength to do these changes so let's see with the inner strength and you building on something what is going to happen you have the energy of the magician thank the Lord another sign of the infinity um, here another sign of the infinity here and it is good and this is what I've always said to you Sagittarians you are like one of the luck you are the luckiest sign because you are governed um, by Jupiter here is the energy of the magician the energy of the magician um, carries all four elements it carries the element of the cups it carries the element of, uh, of the um, the um, the sign of David which is uh, the energy of money it carries the energy of ones which is a strong foundation always because the ones is always your passion and it carries the energy of the swords which is you using uh, words and communicating um, in an intellectual way and this is bringing positive energy the energy again here comes up the sign of the infinity which is wonderful because this came out in the third week along with the energy of the moon so um, what it is saying is that I have inner strength listen to your intuition and um, this the infinity twice here and here and, and, and here it's just so so positive it is um, a positive step forward in your life um, you know you guys are so 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 lucky because um, what is happening here is that um, it's 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 good and it's positive because um, um, the transformation that is happening is that you have the energy of the Emperor the energy of the Emperor so a lot of you are going to be having success in work a lot of you are going to have promotions a lot of you are going to be overcoming situation that has transpired a lot of you are going to be so positive and so moving forward and you are now building because the seven of Pentacles is actually that you're building on um, a, a, a strong foundation a strong financial place in your life and this is going to be very good so as you look at the energies you're seeing that you carry the energy of the star your outcome for this month is going to be wonderful because you are going to show that you are um, good at what you do and uh, um, the energy of you finding the inner strength to move yourself forward to propel yourself forward and you are going to see that the energy of uh, the Emperor is here which is success and you're bringing a balance to your life which is extremely wonderful so 
wow it is a beautiful beautiful month because um, a lot of you are going to be connecting with um, past um, uh, relationships from the past business relationship because you guys are all about business in this month you guys is all about um, building new uh, foundation new stability uh, in your life uh, the energy of uh, um, the nine of ones is the most focal vocal point that is the focus that you need to focus on and this is all about um, you know working hard finding the inner strength and a lot of you are going to be connecting with um, soul family um, people at your work and that sort of a thing and by connecting with these people they're going to be moving you forward in the right direction and in a, and, and at a, a, a good part in your life and this is saying to you that you have also a strong foundation the foundation that you have you have a very strong foundation in um, this month so it's a wonderful month for you guys so not to worry about the rest of the things that will come your way they will just disappear as they come you will just work them out one by one and they will be disappearing okay let's look and see oh my god this is the most beautiful energy you have Archangel Raphael and Pulkit and Pulkit is the um, um, angel of animals. There's obviously something going on in the month of February um, with the animals, and I'm asking you guys to pray for the animals because um, they need to ascend just like us, okay? So you can go on my site there is an ascension prior that is on my site and um, uh, you can say the ascension prior um, Archangel Raphael is the uh, is the um, the angel of healing and abundance the Archangel Raphael is the angel of healing and abundance and whatever the situation is whatever that is transpiring it is going to be positive um, so Archangel Raphael is here and um, and pulpit in this um, month um, of February for um, you um, Sagittarians okay this is a wonderful energy so um, again <clears throat> it is good for you to write down these numbers as um, it came up to me um, twice the energy of the star number 17 um, number 18 number 17 number 18 number 17 and number 18 number 17 and number 18 is going to be a significant point in your life number 17 and number 18 <clears throat> number 8 is also so 8 um, 17 and 18 is going to play a significant role in your life okay um, I was saying something about um, um, the focus is um, the nine, but there is going to be a situation that you have to deal with um, with this person, whoever he is, is someone who is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, and it is it can be your son, but yet still it can be someone else. May and this person is going to come in your life, and for some people, and is going to bring changes into your life. So this person could be um, a boss who is going to come in someone who you're going to connect with in your business life or your working life or in your career life and this person is going to make you a success this person is going to make you a huge success okay so whoever this person is you are going to see that this person is going to come in your life and help you out and make you a huge success okay uh, okay I'm, I'm getting the message okay this is a month of Archangel annual for you um, Sagittarians this is the third moon you're having the third moon look whatever you are doing in the third week be aware of whatever you're doing in the third week listen to your intuition in the third week plus you have the energy of 11 so it is a portal a portal meaning that um, the universal angels and guides that the, the, the veils are going to be thin in the, the third week okay the moon the moon is the casual the, the causal um, chakra of the universe and radiates divine feminine energy 
call upon it to cleanse your aura and energize you remember the influences of this celebrity body is always there whether you can see it or not when you are offered this card you are called on to practice your feminine qualities of love wisdom compassion intuition inclusiveness discernment and oneness your guidance is to go within and seek answers from the huge fountain of wisdom and this is what I say to a lot of people um, go within you can ask yourself the questions the answer will come up and it's not as if you're talking to yourself it is you connected with your mighty I am present and the spirit guides it's as if when anything happened I first ask myself and then I listen to what people have to say and I know the truth of a situation without an even I have to tell people whether or not they're lying because most people do lie okay um, so the moon will help you to bring your clarity so that you can flow with the current of ascension I listen to my divine feminine wisdom I listen to my divine feminine wisdom I listen to my divine feminine wisdom this is going to be your mantra or your affirming uh, affirmation for this month okay so let's go forward and let's see what is transpiring with the energy of the sacred geometry activation and you can always think on Archangel Ragiel and Archangel Metatron so call upon Archangel Ragiel and Archangel Metatron to put the orange coat of protection ask them to put their auras to flow through you and surround you in this month okay so here we are um, um synesthesis this is good this is a positive energy um, concentrate on it first I have to read it synergy is just like energy but a synergy it is such a beautiful energy this person who made these cards are so fabulous the frequency of synergy is like energy but a synergy supports our allowance and acceptance of a not so observant never seen before um, combination and unity the result in a new way of a function working thinking um, a relating loving and being it reminds us to embrace the unfamiliarity so that new yet exciting co-creation can give birth to a new reality okay this is powerful this is this is extremely powerful this is the energy of the synergy and this is it it is good for you guys to learn about the sacred geometry it is good for you guys because this is going to activate the the, the unseen world the unseen uh, the world that we never aware that is there because it says the frequency is to support our allowance so it allows and acceptance of not so obvious so that is like your angels and guides and the spirit guides who are around you who you're who is not obvious but they're working they're actually protecting you it is like the low energies that you attract in your aura and you're not seeing it but you can feel it because your energy is down because you feel depressed because you feel tired um, never seen before um, comb a combination and you and unites the result in new ways because this is the unseen this is um, an, an energy much higher and powerful and wow is this the first time I don't even pull this card for myself okay so this is the first time that this energy is coming up I remember going through them and every time I use this deck there is just something new that comes out and this is positive for you Sagittarians so I want to say to you congratulations it is going to be a wonderful a positive month use the energies in this month you have three times the moon it's going to be a very psychic month the third week is as if all you ask all that you manifest in the spirit world you're going to pull down 
in that third week and you can start manifesting in that third week manifest that which you want because it's going to attract it to you and this is going to be good it is going to be a very successful month. The energy of the star is coming out. The energy of Archangel Raphael is here to heal your financial abundance. The energy of the Arts Angel Pulkit is also here, which is healing your financial um, situation, and this is going to be good. Um, finally, what it is that you should have received is going to come in the first week of February not to worry um, because there is an energy that is trying to um, you know like block it I want to say I love you so much and I will speak to you um, next week and namaste